Hey, this is Tool Man. Today I'm very keen to show you the TMM30 version 2 receipt printer. So the good thing about this one is that it's both Bluetooth and Network LAN compatible. And it's been approved for use in both Lightspeed and Shopify POS, amongst other cloud-based POS systems. So let's get the box open and we'll have a look what's going on inside here. A cardboard, book, power cord, a small paper roll to get you started, a little adaptory thing, here we have wall mount brackets. of those. Very cool. I'm using those for now. Inside we have the actual printer. Uh, so it's quite a small printer footprint wise compared to something like the STARS um, TSP 100s and they've been used for a long time for this sort of application so yeah very compact printer. It feels all right. Looks like this back panel here comes off, so you can get at the connectors. Oh, and the bottom panel. And you can get at the connectors inside there for that looks like a, probably a Bluetooth sensor. That's for the power adapter. We've got a network connection here and a USB. So you've got all your bases covered with this one. Let me just have a look in the box, you'll find the power adapter. Okay, let's get some paper on it. So to do that, we lift this lever up here and then lift the printer lid up like that. Drop the paper in, make sure it's coming out of this way. So the get this to the front there. Push that down hard, and then you can tear that bit of paper off. Now you can plug the power in. So in the back here, the power adapter's got this round connector. I'm going to do the flat bit to the bottom there, and give that a good push in so it clips in there. Just hold down the feed button and turn the power on. It'll make it do its little resetty thing. Press the feed button again, and that's the printer all reset. Hopefully, ready to go. Let's get an iPad and see if we can connect it. Okay, now we've got our iPad sitting next to our printer. Next thing we need to do is plug our cash drawer in. So, if you turn the printer upside down, get your cash drawer plug, which looks like a phone plug. And it goes into that port right there. You'll feel it give a little click there so that it's pushed in right. That's the only other cable we need because we're going to connect to the iPad with Bluetooth. Now we're going to connect the printer to Lightspeed X series. So this is assuming you've already downloaded Lightspeed from the App Store and you've got it showing there as Retail X. On the printer you need to get your printout so if you haven't got that from earlier you just turn the printer off with the power button in the top corner. You hold down the feed button and while you've got it held down, turn the power on. Keep holding the feed button until it starts printing and then just press the feed button again. And that does your printout because you're going to need this address on the Bluetooth interface here. Um, this address here is what we have to enter in. I'm hoping that Lightspeed will fix it so that 
we don't have to do this manually and it'll automatically detect it but as at today that's how we have to do it so you're going to go into settings here on your iPad go into Bluetooth give it a couple of seconds and it should show up here you don't need to do any sort of pairing or anything with this Epson it always just tries to pair so you should see it there TMM32 and then some numbers after it just going to click on that and we'll think about it for a minute and then it should show as being connected under my devices just like that connected and you'll see a blue Bluetooth light comes on here on the printer and that means the Bluetooth is connected so what we're going to do next is just close that down go into our retail X gonna go into hardware so you might have just probably already gone into sales screen go into hardware we click on the cam burger click on settings and then we click on hardware then we're gonna go add printer and you'll see it automatically finds the Epson team m 30 and we go next It says it's connected printer, Bluetooth, USB, and then we go finish. Okay, now it's not going to work like that though. What we need to do now is click on the Epson TMM30 and then go into here to change it to be the Epson TMM30 Bluetooth. So at the moment it detects it as a LAN printer. We're going to go into Bluetooth and then go back to edit printer and in here is where we need to put the settings because it's not TCP it's the Bluetooth address and we just need to put those numbers in so you copy them from the printout earlier so this one is go into numbers Zero, zero. Now you need to use the colon between them, so it's this one with the two dots, not the dash. And then we're going to go oh, um, six e. So then you've got to make sure it's a capital E there. So we go six e. Back to our numbers. It's a bit of messing around this, but as I say, they'll probably fix it. So it'll just auto detect it correctly. Then we go done. Then we go save. Should show up there as an Epson Bluetooth now. And then we go back to our sales screen. Oh, actually, we probably want to turn on the cash draw as well. So um, what we'll do is go back into settings and go back into the printer. And then down here, you can enable the cash draw. And then also click it to open after the cash sale and then we'll save that now we'll go back to our sales screen we're going to sell a test product we go into pay then we press cash they've given us one cent here yeah, the cash drawer pops open there and it prints a receipt cool thanks for watching if you've got any questions get in touch with us here at Tillmat